Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, brother, 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 it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, bro. Give me hatred. Give me hatred. It ain't worth it, little bro. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. It's got to be a level of rational thinking when we disagree. It's got to be a level of rational thinking when we disagree. Hey, bro, with the sweater, the Bible say you a God, bro. Yeah, it's time to start living like it, though. That's right. That's right. It's time to start walking like it, talking like it. It's time to start living your Godhood. We can't be a God and at the bottom of society at the same time. Yeah. We got to yeah. choose one. Gods do not survive at the bottom of society. Right. Gods control the society. That's, That's what I'm right. saying. That's right. We can't be at the bottom and gods. It don't go together. Gods are not the slaves of society. You can't be a slave god. Give me the book of Matthew 18. Let's talk about conflict resolution right now because of what I just saw. Y'all brothers and sisters gotta realize violence ain't the answer. It's the answer that they gave us to use amongst each other. But you can't go in their neighborhood and have a conflict with them and use violence to solve it. They'll lock you up quicker than you can blink. Teach. So let's talk about conflict resolution. Meaning I get into it with you, how we supposed to treat each other? How are we supposed to act towards each other? What happened when me and you have a disagreement? Should we just fight it out? Should I get my boys, we just gonna ride on you? These are the simple things that the Bible teaches us how to do that we just ignore. We throw the Bible to the side. I don't believe in that white man's book. But you believe one plus one is two? That came from the white man's book. Right. You believe today is Saturday? That came from the white man's book. That's right. You believe that the color I got on is purple. Who taught you that? What book that come out of? Teach. But when it comes to something that actually benefits you outside of the white man, you don't believe in it. Well, quit it. Stop picking and choosing. When you go buy that car and say it take premium gas, you believe that book. The white man wrote that too. Why you don't put the cheap gas in the car? Let's talk about conflict resolution. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 18 and 15, verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, the scriptures is talking about one man offending and trespassing against another man. Conflict resolution. What are we supposed to do? Hey, bro, somebody do something to you, we supposed to kill him? That's how I'm supposed to deal with another black man. You know why I can do that? Because I don't see you as a god. If I don't see you as a God, I can shoot you down in the street. If I see you as a God, then I believe that me and you can work out our differences. That's what we about to read now. Teach. It's all about how you perceive yourself. Because the way you perceive yourself is the way you're going to perceive everybody that look like you. Right. If you see yourself as a nigga, a thug, a gangster, then that's the same way you're going to perceive the next man that look like you. That's fact. And you know why I hold true? That's why they gave you the white image of Jesus Christ. That's right. Yeah. So that when you see them, you see God. Instead of seeing God every time you look in the mirror. Read. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go. Tell him his fault between thee and him alone. The Bible says that if your brother do something against you, go talk to your brother. One on one, just you and him. Back in the day, we used to call it manning up, having a man-to-man -man conversation. What are we talking about? How the Bible tells us to handle conflict resolution. Right. 
Meaning, yes, it's going to be times when you get into it with somebody, but there's a way to handle it. And taking somebody's life ain't the way. Right. Beating the hell out of somebody ain't the way. Right. You need to be restored back to your godhood. This is your godhood restored. Read. If he shall hit thee, thou hast gained thy brother. How many times have you been into it with somebody and it's been a minor misunderstanding? You sit down, you talk to him, you find out it wasn't as big of a deal as you thought in your own mind. Right. Bring it Here it is, you're ready to fight and kill over something, and it's a small misunderstanding. That can be fixed with a conversation. The Bible says you're going to regain a brother. You got to realize that when you kill somebody, you're killing somebody's son, right. somebody daddy, somebody brother, somebody uncle. What are we talking about, black men? Y'all the gods on the earth. It's time we start living like it again. That's right. The God of the Bible, the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob said you are God. That's right. And we're just trying to get you back there. That's it. Maybe you like being at the bottom of society. I didn't. The brothers in purple didn't. We said, all right, we're going to do something about it. Right. We actually looked in the mirror and decided to affect change in our life. We knew something about the way we was living wasn't right. right. That's all we saying. You ain't supposed to be filling out job applications. They supposed to be coming to you for jobs. That's, right. That's what gods do. That's right. All right, I might be going a little too deep. Read it. <laughs> Verse 16. Uh -huh. But if he will not hit thee, then it goes to the next step. It's saying, look, go talk to your brother, you and him alone. If he hit you, you just gain the brother. Conflict resolution. But then it say, look, if he don't want to hit when you talk, and then do what? Then take with thee one or two more. He said, look, take one or two people that ain't biased, that can be third party witnesses to the conflict. Meaning, yeah, we got into it. I tried to talk to the brother, but we couldn't come to no agreement. Come with me. Let's see if all three of us sit down together and solve the problem. Conflict resolution written right in the Bible. How many times this been read in your Christian church? The Bible a lot more than giving tithes. Right. Singing and clapping and dancing. That's right. Choirs and hallelujahs. How about we actually apply the biblical principles that's written in the book? That's all we saying. Said take two or three witnesses, read. That in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. So now you got other people in it because they like, no, nah, the brother didn't say that. This is what he meant. They helping to resolve a conflict before somebody else's son died in the middle of the street. Now you telling me our people can't benefit from the scriptures. You telling me this ain't a benefit to our people right now in Chicago. But yet you turn on the news tonight, you're going to see 15 people got shot this weekend. Teach. And this ain't being applied. There's a better way that you're supposed to be living, so-called black man, so-called black woman. Preach. And we here to show it to you. Now, whether or not you want to live like it, that's up to you. Some people like being at the bottom of society, but it's a couple of y'all that don't. Right. That's who we out here for. Exactly. We ain't naive enough to think all oh, y'all going to stop living this haphazard life that they got us living in this place. Right. But we know it's one or two of y'all that's tired of this that want to see real change in your community. That's right. You black men that want to live like gods again. Right. Again, you can't be at the bottom of society and a god at the same time. It don't go together. Right, right. You can't be selling dope on the corner and a god. You can't be doing both. Gods don't do that. Right. That ain't god behavior. We're trying to get you to just come to god behavior. Read. Verse 17. And if he shall neglect to hit them, tell it to the church. Then he said, if he don't want to hit neither one of them, then this dude furious. This somebody that's irrationally mad about a situation. He had his own brother he was into it with, tried to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. He don't want to hit. Then he come with three, four brothers trying to have a little conversation with him. He still don't want to hit. They said, now tell it to everybody that this guy is crazy. He's irrational. He's emotional. 
A lot of times men, we, we tag our sisters as being emotional and we're emotional too. Except when we get emotional, people die. That's right. That's right. When a man is emotional, people die, people get hurt. Read. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man uh -huh. and a publican. So the Bible says that after you done went through all these steps to win this brother over, he still don't want to hear nobody. He said, just let him be. Send him on about his way, man. Instead, what we do is we get into it with one another in the streets of Chicago and we kill each other over it. The funeral business is a multi-million dollar business in Chicago. Teach. They getting $10,000 a body. Everybody that dropped, they got another $10,000 coming. Couple of Meanwhile, weeks. you got a mother that's crying because she lost her son. You right. got kids that'll grow up without a father. Why? Because we don't know conflict resolution. Right. I don't know if I get into it with you as a guy, me and you supposed to be able to work that out. Teach. These are basic principles that we need back. As gods, that's how we roll. Right. You so-called black men, you are gods on the earth. It's time that you start living like it. Right. Go back to Titus. You sisters were never created to be nobody baby mama. I'm telling you straight. You meant to be somebody white. You the foundation of the children. You give them their first instructions, their first directions. Your purpose has to be fulfilled on this earth. You raise the next generation up until the boys are old enough to be with their fathers and their fathers teach them manhood. Right. The same manhood we reading about in the scriptures. It wasn't meant for you to be no thought. It wasn't meant for you to be delayed with 10, 11, 12 dudes in your lifetime. This society taught you that. That's right. It's time you get back to being what God made you to be. Right. Sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow, but yeah, you're greater than what you live in today. Come back to God and come back to keeping his commandments. That's right. Clean yourself up. Read. Titus 2 and verse 2. Uh -huh. That the aged man be sober, uh -huh. grave, temperate, sound in faith in charity, in patience. Meaning the older man's supposed to have a level of patience, man. They ain't supposed to be flying off the handle every time something happens. Read. Verse three, the aged woman likewise. The Bible says the woman the same way. Everything that I mentioned for the aged man, the aged woman's supposed to roll in that same spirit. Right. What we talking about, the order of the so-called black and Hispanic community. That's, That's right. right. Get in order again. Your forefathers had order. The Panthers had order. When they was marching, they had order. They had structure, they had discipline. How far have we fallen? You don't realize that the people that look like you ain't your enemy. The people that look like you ain't put you in this position. Right. And the only way we're going to come out of this is by banding together as brothers. That's right. As the gods that the Bible say we are. That's right. That's how we'll change our community. We can't change our community in the state we're in now. We got to come into our godhood if we're going to change our community. You think you're living good now. Wait until you get to godhood and see how beautiful it is. It's beautiful when you can build with a brother and not worry about him trying to smash your wife. Right. Teach. There's levels to this. You don't even realize there's levels to it yet. Read. That the aged woman likewise, that they may be in behavior as becoming holiness, uh -huh. not false accused. The Bible says that the, the woman ain't supposed to be a gossiper. Right. Falsely accusing. You know, real Atlanta housewives. Right. Black ink crew. The Bible says you're supposed to be holy and not a false accuser. Here's the question. Can our communities benefit if our women were like that? 
The stuff that we read in, is it any benefit to our community? If you ask me, I say it's all benefit to our community. How many fights have happened around you simply from rumors, gossip, women tearing into each other over words? Again, everything that's wrong with your community can be solved if we actually follow the Bible. Right. Everything. But a lot of y'all come from a Christian background, and when you left Christianity, you threw the baby out with the bath water. Something happened to you within that building, and now you say the Bible ain't no good, when the Bible has always been good. Right. The people that use it for their own use and manipulation is no good. Brother, you a God. Read. Not given to much wine. The Bible says you're a God, but you're going to die like men. And you wonder why so many black men die in the city of Chicago. Because it's either live your life as God intended or die. You can't be at the bottom of society and consider yourself a God at the same time. All we're saying is, if you want to be a God, let's live like it. Repent and let's live like it. That's right. Come back to keeping God's commandments if you want to be considered a God. Right. How you a God? We ain't even running our own households. Right. Here it is, you got three kids sitting at home with a woman. You ain't even married yet, and you walking around saying you a God. Right. Right. Gods don't roll like that. Read. Not given to much wine. Uh-huh. Teaches a good thing. The Bible says that a woman ain't supposed to be drunk. We got to go through another hot girl, summer sisters. A lot of families was ruined by some of the stuff that, that wickedness that happened last summer. The Bible say you ain't got to be given to much wine, meaning you overly drink it for no reason. Read. Verse 4. That they may teach the young woman to be sober. Here's the thing. Now, when you meet them qualifications, you can actually teach other sisters the same thing. It used to be elders in the community that would teach women how to clean themselves, how to fix a proper meal, how to run a household, how to budget and pay the bills. There's a lot of things that we must learn as a community. Brothers, 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 it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, brothers. It ain't worth it, bro. It ain't worth it, brothers. It ain't worth it. See, that's what I mean. God's got to live like God's, bro. Y'all ain't living no God. Give me uh, Timothy 3. Give me Titus. Give me 1 Timothy. Chapter 3. We got to learn how to deal with each other, brothers. No strike. Three. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, and verse 1. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desire a good work. So to desire more out of your life is something that's good, brothers. Read. Verse 2, a bishop then must be blameless. There's a certain way you're supposed to walk where you're blameless. If you're walking blameless, you ain't about to get into it where you're about to be fighting somebody. I'm going to tell y'all something. We honor the rules of this land more and the rules that they forced on us more than we honor the rules of God. That's right. A whole lot of destruction come when we put more stock in this world than when we put in God. See, Chuck. Pride done got a whole lot of men killed in the streets of Chicago. Hey, bro, you disrespecting me. A lot of mamas done lost their sons over that statement. A lot of, a lot of uh, funeral homes done got rich over a black man disrespecting another black man. You make these white folks rich. You don't see the coroner? He don't look like you. You don't see the judge when they put you in front of him. He don't look like you. Your rebelliousness against God's laws is making these other nations filthy rich. Teach. Why you think your lawyer costs $50,000 to try to beat a murder case? 
You made him rich because you didn't apply God's laws. And you ain't his only case. He got 30 cases at 50 grand a pop. All from Negroes that don't want to use conflict resolution like it's taught in the Bible. Look at the reality of the situation you living in. A lot of times we make our community hard on ourselves. When we gonna start taking responsibility for what happened around us? Got two brothers about to fight everybody. What y'all gonna do, pull out y'all phones and record it? That's what I mean by we gotta start living like gods. This whole I'm a God thing that became some type of facade now. It's a fad. Hey, what's up, king? What's up, queen? What's up, God? Meanwhile, the brothers is fighting in the middle of the street. How we gods and fighting in the middle of the street? That don't even go together. It's got to be a level of accountability and responsibility. Read. A bishop then must be blameless, uh -huh. the husband of one wife, uh -huh. vigilant, sober, of good behavior. Of what? Of good behavior. There's a certain way me and Sharon, that's just good behavior. We lacking some of that good behavior, man. We gotta start looking at life different. I know everybody ain't gonna get this message. But there's a few. Give me first John chapter two. There's a few that are tired of the way society didn't kick them around. We know that the majority of our brothers that's living these type of lifestyle come from broken homes. We ain't never gonna admit it. Ain't no grown man gonna say, hey, bruh, I gotta be like this because my house was messed up growing up. All I had was my mama. She was on drugs. I had to hit the block every day. How many brothers got this same story? And who's giving them a different lifestyle to live? God is. That's right. God is saying that it's a different way for you to live out here. Right. We all did it. What you think we woke up with this purple on and this Bible in our hands? We come from these same situations. Bring it out. We come from gang banging. We know 2.2 .2 pounds. Right. Brothers, we come from these broken lives, these broken households. Daddy wasn't around. Mama treated us evil. You look just like your damn dad. You ain't gonna be nothing just like, we come from that. That's why we out here on the corner. Right. To show you it's a different lifestyle, it's a different way you can be living. That's That's right. Right. You don't have to be limited to the stuff that you done been through already. Your past don't define your future, brothers. That's right. Just because you went through it don't mean you gotta stay in it. Right. You can repent, you can change. Let you be the last one in your generation that have to go through that. Right. How about that? How about you get so pissed off that you change the way you live it? Right. Teach us. Not so pissed off that you embrace the way you live it. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.